Hi everybody, Mark from Northeast Batherson. How you doing? I thought I'd continue with my uh, bait room setup video series with uh, the next container here and see what we got in here. And like I said, this gives me a good way to clean these out because now I've got these one, this one all organized that I showed you yesterday, and that one I organized a couple of weeks ago. But it's kind of things are somewhat organized in here and kind of not. <laughs> so I'll just show you what I got and um, see what we got here. So this are just some, these are some baits. Uh, when I ordered those, um, uh, the Chili Willies, they sent me these to try out from the Fit Lure. So I'll try those out eventually. Maybe I'll like them and get some more of them. These are those drop shot wraps you can put on your pole if you want to have a, a way to keep that, the Velcro and that just sticks on your, on the rod on the end there and then that I surrender, then that wraps around the Velcro holds your, so you got somewhere to hold your hook so it's not flopping around. Move this box out of the way from up here. All right, let's see what else we got. These are just those uh, those owner owner centering clips I bought, trying to make uh, you know some of those old <clears throat> A rigs I got legal for Vermont. I have no idea what that's for. These are just some new clips I got for my Plano boxes, but trying to get them back on is not easy. That is a food chain tube from <laughs> from Power Team Lures. So you can see things kind of just get thrown in here. These are more, you know, ways to secure your drop shot that I've gotten over the years. Steel leader. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do some musky fishing or something. You guys have ever used these these like you know these you know bait to hold your bait on your on your rod let's say the uh you know the hook keeper on your rod broke off and you put one of these on and i find these to be a waste of money because you put them on and then this tears in about two two weeks of time using them then they rip anyway so don't even waste your time this is a gambler swimmer on jig head nice swim bait you can see i just threw baits in here after i use them grub another grub look like a kaolin's there some suspend dots if you want to suspend your uh, your jerk baits down keep a little deeper throw some suspend dots on there Just a little laying on here oh we got an old school uh fill uh bobber kit that has probably been in there for a long time if you guys ever like to uh to kind of make uh, your soft plastic, your worm or something a little more interesting. You can use these, these MJ rigs to, you know, put a, put a little flash at the back of it. You just screw that into like the back of your worm, your, your, your stick bait, whatever it is you're throwing and give it a, you know, a little more flash. Give it some flash after they have no flash. So that's kind of a cool idea. I haven't used these a lot in recent years, but the MJ rig is a cool idea. I just haven't done it. One day I'll say, oh, what the heck, let me try it again. Oh, some soft plastic stuck in here. Uh, smart baits. I don't know where I got that from. But here's some flukes from smart baits. I don't know if they still exist. A couple of daubers, bobbers. Like some more uh, I Surrender wraps for drop shot wraps from I Surrender. Uh, more clips to fix your boxes, even though they're a pain in the neck to get back on. More suspense strips. What do we got here? Lindy rig components. So what that is exactly, I don't know if I'm gonna be throwing a Lindy rig anytime soon. But you know, the, the Linders created the Lindy rig a long time ago. I think it's mostly like a walleye thing. Oh, what do we got here? Titanium threader. This is if you wanna, I think if you wanted to, that open with one hand no, I'm not gonna bother that's if you want to just kind of make like a mojo rig or something you just thread that rubber through the the weight and keep it on or you can use one of these things that's like a little stop that goes through your weight and that'll hold your hold the the uh, hold the weight to where you want it and these are old tungsten sticky weight so if you want to add a little weight to something it's almost like silly putty but it's tungsten weight I don't know if they still make this 
if this is still something you can get. But that's what it is, just like a tungsten that you can kind of mold around your bait, however you want to make it. You can put that around the, you know, the by the hooks of your hook holder. That's probably what they, one of these things came in, probably something like that. Oh, what do we got here? Hitchers. So if you want to uh, pork or plastic, hitch up trailers. So you want to hitch a trailer to your, let's see how it shows you how to do it here. Whether this stuff is still available, I don't know. Oh, I see. So, so you've got your hook. You put that little hitcher on there, and then you can tie your, your soft plastic to it and give it a little, give it a little trailer. Makes your jigs weedless. If you want to use it for that too. But I don't even know who makes who makes those. Does that even say on there? I don't even know if that says who makes it. Maybe Hitchhikers is just a company. But I don't know how long ago I got that. It's like more steel leaders here. You guys want to do some musky fishing or pike fishing? It's one of those keeper things you can put on your as I said, don't waste your money on them, they just break anyway. That's probably where these all came out of. Game changer lures, brush bands. Brush guard splitter. Okay. Oh, I see. So if you want to split the brush guard on your on your jig, use one of those. Okay. That's different. Where I got that? Like I said, I don't know. Just some tabs there. More steel leaders some more of these hitchhikers a couple of those other one float do some float and fly fishing there's a nice float here do some float and fly fishing which i haven't done in a long time uh more suspense strips i guess this is where i keep them. i thought i had a pack of them somewhere but maybe it's in here oh uh, let's see what we got here Never slip bait tape. This is actually a pretty cool idea. I remember when I first saw these and used them a little bit. Take your bait, put it on the hook, and you just wrap that that, that tape around the head there, and it kind of keeps it from slipping off the bait. I bought these mostly for something like uh, wrapping around, like throwing football head jigs and like spider jigs. But you can see they got on a grub there on the pack. Some different colors. It's kind of a cool idea. I don't know if these are still available. They might be. But they do work. I tried them when, I, when they first came out. I did use them, uh, and it just kind of keeps that that worm or whatever it is you're throwing on the uh, on the hook. So there's that kind of shows you how to rig it up there. I'll show you that closer if you guys want to check it out. But there it is, right there. Never uh, never slip bait tape. So if you guys can check online and see if that still exists, I don't know. There's that. Looks like some more suspend strips. Got plenty of those. Here's that tool here. You guys can't even see me doing this. If I can even pick it up out of here. Oh, really? Got a little tool for pulling. If you want to pull that rubber through the hook and then make that mojo rig showed you those you guys some of you guys use these little hook covers here these hook bonnets you put them in I, i've used them a little but then when i put a use them if i use them in my jerkbait boxes then i can't fit as many jerkbaits in because they there's just not enough room for them oh let's see the humdinger this is that same idea screw that into the end of your bait make it a little more give us some flash Got a few of those humdingers in here. One. There's a willow. The Keith Poche Power Swimmer hum from Humdinger. That is another one. I don't know. That's a Power Spinner. Just some different types of... It looks like some... I think it's probably some... I'm not sure what that is. Something for real, probably. Put a little chartreuse on there, spinner. There's more of those tabs to mojo rig your, your hooks. More humdingers. More of the Swampers brand, same idea. More of the Hitchhikers. Another one of those tools, unless... It looks like I got a couple of them here. 
all those mojo rig tools. Kind of a cool idea. I haven't done that in a while. This was an old thing. This plastic, this is how you could make like a like a channel in your in your soft plastic. And then as if you want to add rattles to it. So it's always an idea if you want to do that. And there's another one of those spinner type things to add to your bait. Make it a little more a little flashy. So really there is just kind of a you see it just a kind of mix of everything and then a few other things that I have to take out of there. Uh, next drawer, this is where I keep um, this is probably old paint. Some of this I gotta go through. It's probably dried out. It doesn't even work anymore. Protect uh, powder paint. A lot of time you just heat up the jig head and put it in there. And some net craft paint. OS coat. Component systems. CS. Coatings so of some paint. I gotta go through these and see if they're any good anymore. You can hang your jigs on this thing. That one's not even open. And usually I keep my, even though they're over on the table, I keep the uh, nail polish. I, use. I, I tend to use nail polish now more for like jig heads to kind of fix them up. I don't know what that's doing in here. Another float. But this is usually just like the paint and uh, and uh, nail polish drawer there for when I want to fix up some jig heads. This is more, looks like more hooks and weights, which I've got to probably combine with over here and kind of make it more organized. Some of those, those trapper tackle hooks, which were very cool. Unfortunately, they don't make them anymore. Looks like just some various hooks and weights, probably that I had on a boat at one time, just kind of threw them in there. Uh, let's see. Some hookers. I don't know if hookers, a hooker's tackle is still around. I don't know if they still are out there. Looks like just some different Gamagatsu worm hooks. Worm hooks. Looks like a bunch of rattles. Different types of rattles in there. Let's see what else we got. Let me get some of this out of the way for you. Rattles. Sometimes uh, Norm's Bait and Tackle, Crown Point, New York. If you guys have ever been there, nice store. Got those up there a while ago. I think these are more of the same. Probably bought, bought at Norm's. Worm rattles. And you know, if you're throwing a slow plastic, you don't have, a, and you want to add a rattle. This is actually kind of a cool idea. This probably I got it there too. Yeah, Norm's. I got this there. This you almost you just put it at the end of your your line and let's and it'll you know give you a rattle on there if you don't have one. So you just add it to the your sinker and then you put the rattle and then or you can add it that way. So there's a couple ways you can do it. It's kind of cool idea. I saw them there and grabbed them. Here's a Another same thing. Oops. <clears throat> H and H plastic rattles. The rattle and poppers. So whether they still make these, if you can get them at norms, I don't know. Some red lead heads. It's a cool idea. These I forget what they called these, these internal weights. You put them inside your tube, and you put run the hook through, and then the hook goes through that hole and then out, and it gets gets you some weight. So you have a weighted tube. Something glider. I forget what they call these. If I find a pack that has a name on it, I'll, I'll remember. Uh, more rattles. Before I started throwing a lot of tungsten, when I threw, you know, these, these brass weights, I used to always throw these Gambler brass rattle weights. Always threw them. They would always, they, they rattled. So you have add a rattle to your bait. And um, I, that, that was kind of my terminal tackle setup with these, the Gambler rattle weights. The brass ones and so I, I mean i can use these up here they're not they're not lead so i can use these in new hampshire i just haven't because i've used tungsten which is a, you know it's the same weight but it's smaller this is probably another yeah I'll put that at frank's tackle back in the day it's probably a rattle it's another rattle it's another half ounce old frank's tackle oh uh, what do we got here Oh, Eric gave, sent me some, some weights back in the day from Tech Baits when he was making baits. Some different weights there. Some smaller weights. Probably lead. I'm not sure if those are tungsten or not. More of the gamblers. These are the three. Okay, guys, I'm back. All of a sudden, my phone said I didn't have enough room for any more videos, so I had to delete a bunch of stuff out of there. And uh, I'm not sure where I got cut off. Um, showing you the gambler weights. These are just some screw-on. Same idea. 
And some more of those worm rattles. There's a rattle laying there. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, this is from, uh, I believe it's EcoPro Tungsten makes these. It's kind of a cool setup for a tube. It's kind of hard for me to show you without a tube or anything, but if you guys want to see it, I can show it to you. Some more of the Gambler worm weights, rattles. Uh, I see some wacky hooks here. They belong in that other drawer, so this will definitely be needing to be cleaned up a little. And you can just see a ton of rattles for worms and for tubes and for whatever. Rattles, rattles, rattles. And most of the time when I'm throwing, I mean, when I throw a jig, I always use a rattle. Soft plastics, eh, not so much. Unless I'm using these, you know, which I haven't used much lately. But uh, a lot of times I like to use a rattle. Um, here is just those pig, uh, I have those uh, pig claw bulk packages I, I was showing you guys. I threw them in here. This looks like just like some random baits, some swim baits, some... Looks like some Neds and some Cabin Creeks. This must have just, ow, there's a hook coming out of there. This must have been in the boat. And I probably cleaned the boat out and threw all these in a bag and brought them down here. So I need to go through that. I'm going to leave this out here. I need to go through that and organize it and see if there's anything in there that's no good. Oh, and what do we got back here? It looks like some, looks like some jigs. Oh, uh, I think I, I'm trying to remember. Mag's Lure Company. Um, swim jig, uh, flipping jig non-lead pewter i think i bought these i'm trying to remember i bought these years ago i think up at the cabela's in maine i'm trying to remember but somewhere where they had you know they didn't have lead so they had these pewter jigs which i got there which were kind of cool looking i don't i've really thrown them much that was when i was still living in new jersey so i didn't really didn't really matter but uh there you go non-lead pewter jig heads so they do exist and in the bottom here, it, oh boy, <laughs> dropping the suspend dots everywhere. All right, I'm gonna try to get this camera down here. It looks like these are more of the pig. I think this is probably just all random soft plastics down here. Uh, I'll try to do my best to show them to you because I'll get down here closer for you. Easier on my legs too. Get this chair out of the way. All righty. All right, I'm going to assume this is going to just be a bunch of random soft plastics that I probably had out of the boat. Or, whoa, I don't want the whole thing to tip over either. These looks like some Paul Crew um, swim or drop shot baits he made me that are really awesome. This looks like the more the pig claw trailers. Just some, you know, for my jigs when I'm using pork, I always put a little piece of soft plastic on the hook there to, so the the, the uh, pork doesn't get too flopped up in there. Uh, what do we got here? Looks like some like a black neon Senko or Senko type bait with a chartreuse tail. I'm never gonna remember what all these are. Some small Ned baits, stamina, some type of a. Not sure exactly what that is. I think that's probably just something to add to your bait to give it a skirt look to it. Oh, what do we got here? Doomsday Tackle Company. Looks like a little craw or trailer type deal. More Neds. More of those little little skirt deals. Some pink froggies. You guys like throwing the frog like that? This is killing my legs. I believe that is some Mega Strike. Creature bait. So you guys can see it's all just different soft plastics, Neds. Probably a lot of Neds. Looks like little pieces of Max Scent Worms I was probably using as drop shot baits. Neds. Big bite baits. Looks like a worm here. And it looks like just worms and Neds. Neds. Different Neds. Probably got these like from, let's see if I can see the packaging there. It's probably, yeah, from Lure Parts Online. It's probably their version of the Ned. I probably got, tried them out. And it looks like this is just a ton of different Neds here. Different colored Neds. That's some Berkeley bait there, an old Berkeley creature bait. Lots of Neds. Lots of Neds. Another Berkeley. I forget what they called that old bait. Oops, 
like another nid. This is the old, uh, this is the old gambler cricket, BB cricket. Probably bought bulk packs years ago. Yep, I think that's the old gambler BB cricket right there. Great little flipping bait if you guys want to get go some old school right there. I think I bought some some bulk packs back in the day. That's probably what's going to be on the bottom here. Yep, it's more of those BB crickets. Neds. <laughs> Neds. Oh, let me guess, Neds. Some of the Bass Pro Sticko, they're Neds. Man, I haven't gone through this stuff in so long. It's a good time. Gosh, I don't remember who makes that. Maybe Venom. Might be a Venom soft plastic. I forget who made that thing. More of those Berkleys. Oh, here we go. Some uh, Missile Bait Bulk Packs. The D-Bomb. Wicked Craw. Really cool color. D-Bomb. GP3. Bulk Pack. More of the Gambler BB Cricket. That's probably more of the BB Crickets. You probably can't see that. It's all wrapped up in the plastic, but that's what these all are. All those BB Crickets there. Got lots of those. Got those bulk packs back in the day. Right, let's see what we got. Cabin Creek. It's there like a, the Express Bug. Okay. Guess they made a creature bait. Like a, what we got here? Biospawn Fighter Shad. A little bait. I remember when I got those. Oh, we got here Mr. Twister, five inch worm. Big bite baits. Battle bug. A little creature bait for big bite baits. A little creme baits here. Real screamer. <laughs> I don't remember where he, who knows where you got this stuff over the years. More Mr. Twister stuff. None of that worm. And it looks like. More of those missile baits. JP Purple, bulk pack. I believe that's like a black neon if I recall. There's no, no color on there, it's pretty much sure it's black. And another thing of missile baits. These things are so faded. Can't even see what that color is. I don't know, something I can't tell, but just bulk packs. It's all faded from sitting in here. Another big bite bait. Doesn't say what kind it is. Some yum swimming dingers. So there you go. And last but not least, another bag of yum. Bad mama. Creature bait. So I'm going to sit up because my legs are killing me. Ugh. All right. So I'm not sure how far. I think I did about 14 minutes and then, and then the camera stopped. And so I finished up. So I'm going to have to splice these two together. But that's it, guys. So. As you can see, just a bunch of soft plastics, random things up here. It's somewhat organized, but not really. So I'll have to kind of clean all this up. And I've actually forgot about all those BB crickets and missile baits. So it's good to know that I got those in there. So, you know, I just got to put it all together now that I've pulled it all out. So that's it. That's the other one of these uh, containers, these drawer containers here I've got. And you see, I've got a few more over here to show you before I'm done with all the bait room setup stuff. I did order, you guys can see, well, there's the doggies there. You can see the racks over there that I've shown you guys in the past. I did order some more uh, hangers for the racks. So I'm gonna redo those. So I'll probably do a quick video when I get those kind of, you know, straightened out. Cause I've gotten new baits and just kind of got some of the bigger hangers instead of the, the two inch size. I got some of the six inch size so I can reorganize that a little bit. So that's it. So if you guys saw a bait on here, and, you, and I went too fast, and you'd like to see more of it, just let me know. Uh, but that's it. That's how I kind of have this one set up with the, you know, my my paints and my nail polishes and just some random stuff up here. And that hook and weight thing's got to be organized. And then just soft plastics in those other two. I don't have all the soft plastics hung up. Uh, that's it. So any questions, let me know. And like I said, if you see a certain bait you'd like to see again, let me know. So I'm going to splice these two videos together and, and post it. So I'll see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.